Hi, Hebrew folks, especially rabbis, don't go to Caesarea Philippi. It was worse than most red light districts in huge cities. Not exactly the place to take young disciples. So why did Jesus take his disciples there? Watch this video and see the huge challenge that Christ gave to his disciples. And then at the end, I will share how we can apply this. I'm so glad you decided to watch this video because the lessons that Matthew 16 teaches us are so applicable to us today. I'm also going to show you how to use Google Earth so that you can see the very places where Christ was as if you are there. You want to take a few minutes and this can really be a blessing to you. So Caesarea Philippi is found between the Lake of Galilee and Mount Hermon. So you'll find it northeast of the Lake of Galilee. Let me show you how to find it with Google Earth. By the way, you can download that application for free. It's well worth it. So here is Israel and here is the Lake of Galilee and Caesarea Philippi is north, northeast of here. We zoom in by rolling the wheel of our mouse. By the way, I am not familiar with Macintosh computers, so it might be slightly different there. I'm using a Windows PC. Now notice here is Caesarea Philippi. They would worship a god named Pan or Panias there. We still have words that are based on that, like panic, pan flute, and pandemic. Thank you very much, COVID. The idol Pan was on top half goat and the bottom half human. He was a fertility god. He would give abundant crops by being enticed through public sexual activity. Caesarea Philippi had a huge rock called the Rock of the Gods on it and below the rock was a big hole that would be the entrance to a spring of water under the earth. This hole was also called the Gates of Hell. In the rock the niches and statues of Pan would be displayed there. So let's look at this place here. Here we find the rock. First you want to click on the little guy on the right hand side and drag him over to the front of the rock. Now notice this, you can look around. Do you see a big hole? That was considered the gates of hell. Now notice the little niches. This is where the statues of Pan were placed. So they would worship Pan there by engaging in huge public orgies in front of the rock. We're talking thousands of people and many goats, i.e. bestiology. They would have huge phallic statues. It was a horrific place. No rabbi or no Israelites would want to take his disciples there. But Jesus took his, probably really embarrassed, disciples there. When they got to Caesarea Philippi, Jesus asked them, who do people say that he is? Notice the answers. John the Baptist, Elijah, and Jeremiah. That by itself tells us a lot of what Christ must have been like. He was a man full of zeal. Then finally Peter says, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now notice there, he says, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Maybe he was referring there, not those gods. Jesus' answer is, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Where are they? They were in front of the big rock of Caesarea Philippi. Jesus said that on that rock he will build his church. Wow, where you would not have expected it. Then he said, the gates of hell, remember that hole, shall not prevail against it. Now, gates are always used to defend a city. So who is on the defense? Hell, the ungodly. The church needs to be on the offense and needs to take the initiative and share the gospel and build itself everywhere, even in Caesarea Philippi. So how can we apply this? It's so easy for us believers to be passively enjoying one another in our cozy churches. We think of churches as safe places where we can hide from the lost and we are on the defensive. Though there is some truth to that, as far as the church being a safe place, that was never God's plan for us. He wants us to reach everywhere with the gospel. Remember, the best defense is a strong offense. 
I have no idea who said that. But if you know, put it in the comments. I'd like to learn. So share the gospel. Remember, Satan's gates can stand against you. For quick training on how to share the gospel, watch the video at the end, which shows how we reached over 100,000 people with the gospel. Now look at your hands. How many thumbs do you have? Well, if you're like me, you have two. What does that mean? STLB, smash the like button. Thank you so much. May God bless you richly. Bye-bye.